Hi everyone and welcome to Snuggle Chair Stories today. I'm going to be reading Rumble in the Jungle, which is one of my favourite books. It's lots of fun to read. Let's read together. There's a rumble in the jungle, there's a whisper in the trees, the animals are waking up and rustling the leaves. The hippos at the waterhole, the leopards in his lair, the chimpanzees are chattering and swinging everywhere. Some animals are frightening and some are sweet and kind. So let's go to the jungle now and see who we can find. The chimpanzee. It's great to be a chimpanzee swinging through the trees. And if we can't find nuts to eat, we munch each other's fleas. The lion. The lion's the king of the jungle. Just listen how loudly he roars. Every animal quivers and shudders and shivers as soon as he opens his jaws. The elephant. It's great to be an elephant, all big and fat and round, and wander through the jungle, just elephing around. The zebras. I could have been grey like a donkey or brown like my cousin the mule, but instead I've got stripes which my lady friend likes as they make me look handsome and cool. The snake. The boa constrictor is a slippery snake who slithers and slides round his tree and when tasty animals wander too close, he squashes them slowly for tea. The giraffe. Some animals laugh at the gangly giraffe, but I hold my head up and feel proud. I really don't care when my head's in the air and my cheeks getting kissed by a cloud. The hippopotamus. Hello, I'm a big happy hippo. I sleep in the sun to get hot. And when I'm not sleeping, I mooch in the mud, which hippos like doing a lot. The crocodile. When animals come to the river to drink, I watch for a minute or two. It's such a delight to behold such a sight that I can't resist jumping a few. The rhinoceros. The ravenous rhino is big, strong and tough, but his skin is all baggy and flappy which means that there's plenty of room for his lunch and that makes him terribly happy. The gazelle. Noah can run half as quickly as me, the galloping gorgeous gazelle. I can leap up so high that my horns touch the sky and I'm awfully pretty as well. The gorilla. The gorilla is big, black and hairy, and the thing that he likes to do best is to look all ferocious and scary and wallop his giant great chest. The leopard. If you meet a hungry leopard prowling through the night, make sure you call him sir and be incredibly polite. The tiger. Beware of the terrible tiger. You don't always know when he is near, but his eyes shine like lights through the blackest of nights and his growl makes you tremble with fear. The night has started falling, but the jungle never sleeps. The vultures circle slowly while the leopard softly creeps. And if you listen quietly, you might just hear the growl of a hungry pair of panthers who are still out on the prowl. The lions and their little cubs are sleeping in their den. So let's leave them till tomorrow when we'll visit them again. And that's the end of the story. This part of the book is called End Pages. And if you have a look at some of the books on your shelf, you might actually find that the end pages also add to the story and they're lots of fun to look at. I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.